Hello friends. In the last lesson, we have discussed uh, the uh, Raoult's law and uh, ideal non-ideal solution. Today, we will discuss very interesting topic that colligative property of solution. It is very important for to determine the nature of solution and to determine the molecular mass of the solute is very important for calculation. So, what is colligative property? Colligative property, the property which depends upon the amount of substance present in the solution that is the number of particles, number of moles of solute present in the solution, it depends. It does not depend upon the nature of solute. Only depends upon the amount of solute present in the given solution. So that is called colloidal property. The property which depends upon the amount of substance present in the given solution does not depend upon the nature of solute. What are the colligative properties? First colligative property is that relative lowering of vapor pressure RLVP relative lowering of vapor pressure. We will discuss this thing already and second property is Elevation of boiling point. Third property is that is depression of freezing point. And fourth one is osmotic pressure. But today let us discuss these three properties, important properties that relative lowering of vaporization, elevation of boiling point, and depression of freezing point. We know in the Raoult's law that P A pressure of solvent, vapor pressure of solvent P A is directly proportional to Zar A. This is the first statement of Raoult's law that P A is directly proportional to Zar A implies P A some equal to some constant P A not J A. This is the main derivation of Raoult's law that P A is equal to P A not J A. Then this equation will be P A is equal to P A not in place of J A. You see the graph. It is the relation between vapor pressure versus mole fraction of solute and solvent. This is the amount of solvent taken when solute is not added. That is, J A is equal to one. But here, J A is, J A is equal to zero and J A is equal to one means when all solute is added. Here, the vapor pressure when J A is one, vapor pressure is highest. But when solute will start adding, then vapor pressure decreases. This is the graph, and this is the real graph relating to Raoult's law. So from Raoult's law, we know P is equal to P A not J A, and P A is equal to P A not J A. J A can be written as one minus J A V because J A plus J A V is equal to one. Total mole fraction is always one. Now P A is equal to P A naught minus P A naught J A V. If you arrange this one, what is the value? Now, P A naught minus P A, P A naught minus P A is equal to P A naught J A V. Now, if you arrange this one, P A naught is equal to del P. That means 
lowering of vapor pressure. When the non-volatile solute is added, when non-volatile solute will be added, then the decrease in vapor pressure, Pa0 minus Pa, Pa0 means the vapor pressure of pure solvent and Pa is the vapor pressure of solvent when solute is added. That means Pa0, Pa0 is greater than Pa. So Pa0 minus Pa is equal to del P, which is equal to del P by Pa0 is equal to Jai P. This expression, this is the del P is the decrease in vapor pressure. That means lowering of vapor pressure and Pa0 is equal to vapor pressure of pure solvent. This ratio means how much decrease to the initial vapor pressure. How much vapor pressure decrease to the vapor pressure of pure solvent that is called relative lowering of vapor pressure. Relative means comparison with respect to pure solvent. So del P by Pa0 is equal to Jai V. Jai V which is equal to Jai V means WB by MB into MA by WA. WB by MB into MA by WA. This is the what? This expression when, when this expression is when MB when NB is very less compared to MA. When NB is very much, very, very less compared to NA. In that case, this is the derivation of problem. That means the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to amount that is mole fraction of solute added. That means how much of solute is added that depends upon the relative lowering of vapor pressure. Vapor pressure always decreases when non volatile solute is added to the particular solvent. So this is relative and this decrease, this decrease in vapor pressure is equal to Pa0 Jiv. That means del P, this indicate del P proportional to Jiv, proportional to Jiv. That means, what does mean? This indicate relate that means lowering of vapor pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction of solute. That means it's a colligative property. What is colligative property? The property which depends upon the amount of solute, the number of moles of solute, the mole fraction of solute. If it depends, that is called colligative. As the decrease in vapor pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction of solute. So, decrease in vapor pressure of a sol sol solvent containing non volatile non volatile solute added, then the decrease in vapor pressure is always directly proportional to the amount of solute added. That means in direct proportional to the mole fraction of the solute added. So, this is regarding the first colligative property. Relative lowering vapor pressure. Here, two statement where this is the first statement, this is the second statement. First statement is relate that means decrease in vapor pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction. Second statement is relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to mole fraction solution. Here, direct proportional, here is equal to mole. This is the First statement, this is the second statement, but this statement only for non-volatile solute. When non-volatile solute added, not volatile, non-volatile solute added, like salt in water, sugar in water, like this. This is regarding the relative lower vapor. Then come to elevation of boiling point. Elevation of boiling point actually meaning is when non-volatile solute will be added, then Boiling point increases just opposite your vapor pressure. Vapor pressure always decreases when solute added, non volatile solute added, but boiling point always increases when non volatile solute added. That's why it is called elevation, this is called lowering. Decreasing, it is increasing. 
But we know, you see the graph, here graph shows this is the vapor pressure versus boiling point, different boiling point of solution and solvent. This graph, this indicates that is your solution and this indicates solvent. This is solvent, this is solution. What indicates solvent always has higher vapor pressure already discussed. Solvent has, has always higher vapor pressure than solution. That's your graph. In the graph, solvent will remain above and solution will remain below if you plot a graph vapor pressure versus temperature or vapor pressure versus your mole fraction, anything. So, vapor pressure, your vapor pressure and temperature, that means boiling point. Suppose this is the one atm pressure. One atm pressure means normal atmosphere pressure. Generally, we when you heat, when you boil a liquid or solution, generally at room at room temperature, room temperature means at atmospheric pressure. Here that is always taken as one atm. At one atm pressure, how much temperature? At what temperature? Liquid boils. At what temperature? solution boils that is called your boiling point but temp pressure should be 1 atm it is taken 1 atm pressure 1 atm pressure both solvent boils and solution boils boils but here solvent has a higher vapor pressure and solution has a lower vapor pressure but at 1 atm when you start heating the boiling the vapor pressure increases for both solvent Solvent for solvent vapor pressure increases and solution also vapor pressure increases when you heat. But at the same atmosphere pressure, both starts boiling. Solvent also boils at one atm pressure and solution also boils at one atmosphere pressure because at a constant atmosphere pressure, at constant atmosphere pressure, all liquid boils. Your at constant atmosphere pressure means suppose it is one atm. So if you see the graph, suppose this is the boiling point of solution and this is the boiling point of solvent. Because as just you see, as solution has, just you see, as solution has a lower vapor pressure, more temperature required to attain to boil at one atm pressure. As it has lower vapor pressure compared to solvent, it requires more temperature to boil. That's why Tb here Tb greater than Tb not. Because solution has, if question is asked, why solution has higher boiling point? Because solution has lower vapor pressure. That's why Tb greater than Tb not. But Tb greater than Tb not means but your vapor pressure of solution is less than vapor pressure of solvent. This is your TV not means for solvent boiling point. This is the boiling point of solution. But we know from Raoult's law that your del P, del P means del P which is equal to PA naught minus PA. This is directly proportional to what? Xiv. Already we know these things. Already know del P equal to that is PA dot minus PA is proportional to Xiv. Already we have discussed. Just you see here PA dot minus PA is equal to Z, proportional to Xiv. If you do this, that implies here. If PA naught is directly proportional to Xiv, we know vapor pressure, pressure and temperature. If you see, pressure and temperature is directly. But here, PA naught PA, we can write that Tb minus Tb naught, just opposite. Because PA naught, when vapor pressure, when vapor pressure, will be more than boiling point will be less. PA, PA not more means TB not will be less. Like this. So PA is less means TB will be more. Just opposite vapor pressure and boiling point. 
सो पी एल नॉट माइनस पी ए डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शन जाएगी ना पी एल नॉट माइनस पी ए कैन रिटर्न एज टी बी माइनस टी बी नॉट बिकॉज अपोजिट इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू जाएगी विल बी सेम बोथ आर रिलेटेड बट बोथ आर रिलेटेड टू जाएगी हियर वेपर प्रेसर डिक्रीजेस Here volume fund increases, but both will be directly proportional to JIV. If you add more solute, then vapor pressure will be decrease more, but volume fund increase more. This is the difference between vapor pressure and volume fund. But relation is same. Both will be directly proportional to JIV. Here decreasing value, here increasing value. This is the difference. Okay. Now TB minus TB not proportional to JIV. So, if you write this one, T B naught, T B minus T B naught, which is equal to del T B difference, is is equal to some constant, is equal to some constant. Let it be k, let it be k into J B into J B. K is a constant. Now. This already you know that J B can be written as already we have discussed here J B is equal to W B M A upon M B W A already we have written this things now derivative is equal this much now what you do you multiply and div and divide 1000 both sides now del tb is equal to 1000 into k into wb into wma into ma upon 1000 into mb into w Now this can be written as like this. Just we arrange it. What? One thousand. Suppose W B W B into one thousand upon M B into W A. Just keep one side. Then what? What is left? What is left? Your K, K, then M A upon what? One thousand. This is second part. Now, then T B is equal to this formula K M A on the K J constant. M or M A is also that is what is M A molar mass of solvent that is one third is constant all are is a constant both taking all, together it will be a new constant that is written as K B K B into what is that W B by M B into W one third so what is this that is molarity small m now we go on with derivation. What delta B is equal to K B into M. Delta B is equal to K B into M. That means elevation of elevation elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to what? Molality. Molality means number of moles per kg. That means the amount of depends upon the amount of solute. M means molarity depends upon the amount of solute, number of moles of solute. That's why elevation of boiling point is a conservative property. Delta B proportional to M. Now what is K B? K B K B is called molar elevation constant. Molar elevation constant. It is called molar. Elevation constant, or that is ebullioscopic constant. That is called ebullioscopic constant. Okay, molar elevation constant, and its value for water, for water, 
इज इक्वल टू के बी वैल्यू फॉर वाटर इज हाउ मच जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू के के जी मोल इनवर्स व्हाट इज व्हाट इज के बी इफ यू सी व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ के बी के बी इज इक्वल टू के बी इज इक्वल टू डेल टी बी बाय एम so unit of kb will be unit of del tv is kelvin so kelvin what is the unit of small m moles per kg so kelvin kg k kg kelvin then kg will be again numerator so k kg mole inverse because the unit of small m is moles per kg so kg will be again numerator so k kg mole inverse this is the unit of kb and for water molar elevation constant for water for water is 0.52 so what is the actual expression of kb kb can be written as the expression of kb is equal to r into ma into tb square upon how much 1000 into delta evaporation so what is kb kb is called molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant that kb is equal to r what is r r is the gas constant ma is the molar mass of solvent tb is the boiling point of solvent 1000 and delta evaporation is the what enthalpy of evaporation of for every solvent has enthalpy of evaporation at particular boiling point at a particular constant boiling point it has enthalpy of evaporation if you put this value kb will be this much this is the important derivation for calculation of kb and kb of water is 0.5 0.52 k kg mole inverse so this is the Elevation of boiling point is a colligative property because elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molality. Molality means number of moles. That's why elevation of boiling point is a colligative property. Then come to third colligative property that depression of freezing point. Just you see here. Here one thing. This is the vapor pressure versus Freezing point of solvent and solution. This is for solvent. This is solution. Both. This is for solvent. This is for solvent, and this is for solution. Here, solution freezing point is T F, and solvent freezing point is T F not. This is T F and T F not. Higher boiling point means lower freezing point. This is opposite. Higher boiling point means lower freezing point. Here boiling point for solution is greater than boiling point of solvent, but here is just opposite. T F is less than T F not. Here T B greater than T B not, but here T F is less than T B not. T F not. So this is the relation. so we know here this is the freezing point of solution both freezes and this is the freezing point of solvent this is the freezing point of solution so if you see the graph tf not is greater than tf we know as per the your raus law del p is directly proportional to xi v that means del p del p del p if you see del p and temperature just that here the here decreasing vapor pressure and decreasing freezing point here vapor pressure decreases and freezing point also decreases that's why here del p can be written as del p in place of del p is equal to T F not minus T F, which is called delta T F 
is equal to proportional to xiv same as vapor pressure the lowering of vapor pressure is directly proportional to xiv that means decreasing freezing point also directly proportional to xiv decreasing freezing point also directly proportional to xiv but here increasing boiling point is directly proportional to xiv here decreasing freezing because freezing point and boiling point just opposite so delta tf is proportional to xiv then we can write now same similar derivation delta tf is equal to some constant k into xiv which can be written as k then as wb by mb into ma by wa already this formula we have written already in the where in the raoult's law delta f is equal to k into xiv is equal to k xiv can be taken as this so now in the same way you do delta f is equal to k 1000 you just use wb n k upon n b w a now delta f you just arrange it now wb wb into 1000 here you multiply 1000 not written then wb wb into 1000 upon mb into wa one side then remaining k into ma upon what 1000 this is another side like previous just he you see here K into M by one thousand. K into M by one thousand. Here, in case of freezing point, this constant can be written as delta F is equal to new constant K F. F means freezing point. Your B means B means boiling point. Molar elevation constant, and this is called molar depression constant. K F into This formula W B by M B to W A is one thousand. That is called what? Small m. That is small m. Now you got the new formula. Then T F is you. What is T F? Decrease in freezing point. What is T B? Here increasing boiling point. So T F is equal to K F into M. That means then T F. Decrease in freezing point is directly proportional to small m. What is this? Small m means molarity, number of moles per kg of solvent. That means depends on number of moles. That means amount of solute. That's why decrease in freezing point is a conjugate property. That's why it is an conjugate property. Elevation of boiling point is an conjugate property. Uh, Relative lowering of vapor pressure is an conjugate property. Kf value, Kf can be calculated same way, same formula R into your M A into Tf square, freezing point of solvent into one thousand into delta what? Fusion. Your vaporization, your freezing point means fusion will be used. So for water. It is 1.86 k kg moles for water. This is the value. 1.86 k kg moles. So this is the three important conjugate properties of solution: relative or lowering vapor pressure, elevation of boiling point, and depression of freezing point. Okay. In the next lesson, we'll discuss the Fourth conjugate property that is your osmotic pressure and all numericals related to conjugate property. We'll discuss in the next lesson. Okay, thank you.